it's me, Xscape5. This is a vid on an official downgrade from 2.0 to 1.1.4. I have an XP, you're gonna have to use an XP for this. So first, you're gonna have to get uh, iTunes 7.5. So you're gonna have to, if you have 7.7 .7 or anything above 7.5, you're gonna have to delete it. Or if you have a, some, a version that's below 7.5, just download it from a uh, 7.5 from a link I am, I have on the description. So first, I have set, this is my friend's computer and I have my friend's iPod. It's a 2.0. I'll show you. Um, settings. General. Oh, whoops. About 2.0 version. Okay. So. Go to add or remove programs. This is my friend's computer and he has 7.7 .7 and 2.0, so I'm doing this for him. I did this many times, so I know what I'm doing. Once you go to add or remove programs, it'll look like this. Scroll down. Sorry about all these weird crap. It's my brother's. iTunes. Okay. Remove. Yes. Now, it's going to re be removing. And while it's removing, go to a website that I will have in the description called filehippo.com. Now, there you're going to see the download version thing 7.5. Okay, so 7.5, you click download this version. So, but first, before you download, you're going to have to restart the computer, so, um, whoops. Damn it. Oh, there. So it's gathering required information, and while it's done deleting iTunes, it's going to want you to rest uh, restart the... Oh, what the fuck? Hold on a sec, I'll be right back. Okay, that uh, error might pop up, I s you know, you saw, I'm back, and it's gonna be because I was, I had iTunes on right now, so you gotta have it closed down for the thing to work. So it's working right now, and after it's done convi uh, configuring, it'll look something like this. Okay, it'll say, you must restart your system before the configuration changes made to iTunes to, to cha take the effect. Click yes to restart now, or no to plan to manually restart later. Yes. And now it is restarting. Okay, I'll tell you when it's done restarting and... Okay, I'm done restarting the computer, and, uh, sorry about the- Sorry about that, my grandma was talking to me, and what the hell. So, you see, iTunes is gone, I don't know. Yep, it's gone. So, you have it right here. Now, you're going to have to go to this website that I will show you on the description. I have it in my, in my friend's favorites. iPod Touch. Okay, right there. Right there. Perfect. File hippo. 7.5. Pressed download this version. Now right here, right? Right click. Download file. Now, there it is. Save it. 
desktop. Save. And now it will be working. Yep, I'll tell you. Okay, I'm back. And it's nearly done installing. So, um. Oh, snap. Okay, once it's there, probably have this right there. It's installing and everything. So yeah, let's go back here, um, let's go, okay, most, okay, hold on, let me, let me do something. Okay. Will DTA? You always get an error, don't you? Well, in my video, I know how to fix that. You get an error because, look. Okay. What the hell? Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay, it's done. Show iTunes? Sure. Okay. It's there. You're gonna see the link 1.1.4. This is what it would look like. Yeah, right there. You know why you get an error? 1.1.4? iPhone, not iPod Touch. Everybody that you listens to Will DTA, don't listen to him. He's using a he's using an iPhone. It only works on iPhone. Oh, wait. Oh, snap. You know how it says that? Go start. My music. Now go to. Oh, iTunes. And it would say. What the hell? Where the hell is it? Hold on a sec. Sorry about that. Um, mine doesn't say ITL. It says just iTunes library. You rename it. Blah blah blah. Okay. Anything you want to name it. There. If this doesn't work, then I am totally screwed. Totally screwed. Oh, what the hell? iTunes, if it doesn't work, then I'm going to be back again, I guess. Oh, it works. Okay. Once you're here, go to your iPod and plug it in, right? Okay. Right. Oh, oh what the hell? Where are you? There you are. Okay. Stick in there. There it is. Now, over in iTunes, it's gonna say, the iPod cannot be used because it requires blood. Okay. Okay. Now you're gonna have to put it in DFU mode. I'll show you that right now. Okay, I'm back and I didn't mean to put it on DFU mo mode yet. You go to the link I have for 1.1.4 on the description. You know why you get the errors in Will DTA stuff? It's because you use the iPhone thing. If you have an iPod Touch, click on that. Save. Desktop. Save, okay. Now it is downloading. My friend better owe me some stuff, because he really wants to jailbreak on his iPod Touch before. Okay. Oh, whoops. Um, it's downloading, and I'll show you what it would look like once.